I didn't take anything. I asked if you touched it. I did. I guess it's no worse for wear. Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab? Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. <laughs> yeah, bro. Already met everyone outside. They all warm to me right quick in direct sunlight. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I didn't. I wasn't trying to lie to him. It's just, you know, the stuff which just happening. You met Chuck. Making me nervous. Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy. Ben too. <laughs> ben always looks so damn awkward, bro. Welcome. Thank you. You met Kenny. Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. <coughs> I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on that? Stay with us. We'd like the company. Hey, sweet pea. That candy Chuck gave you. It taste okay? It was really good. No funny aftertaste? No. Train's cool, huh? I guess. Scary, kind of. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Definitely didn't mean to do that. I wanted to talk to everybody first before we got All going. Right. Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. And find anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. Whoa! Watch how you talking to Clementine, bro. If I slap the shit out of you. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. <laughs> we can't ignore this. Look at the kid, Kenny. This is happening. Ain't shit happening. And if it were, what can we do here? We get on the train and we find something better. That is the plan. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through. Get on, Kent. I'll be up front. Bro, you were delaying the inevitable, bro. Get where we're going. Now Kenny think he the leader of the group, bro. You got another thing coming, bro. Talk about, I don't want to hear any of this nonsense. Like, bro, your son is about to turn into a zombie. He's about to turn into the exact same things that we just ran away from. He about to take a big ass bite out of that big ass nose you got on your face and then big ass ears. Gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. 
<laughs> there were more of us. Dad, get him. No. Ah, Livin' got him. Lee. Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Stop the train. Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? Nothing you seem to care about. Your son's blood. Get out of here, Lee. You know he's dying. Nobody knows shit. He'll be fine. Stop. Wake the fuck up, man. This is over. He's dead. Don't you tell me to wake up. I got a real family I'm trying to protect. Not that fucking sham you're running back there. Punch him. Punch his ass. Punch him. Give me an option to punch him. I don't know what the hell is wrong with you, but you need to lock it up. Be a man here. Oh, you want a piece of me? Is that it? I just want to talk, Ken. Relax. Then talk. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. You're in denial. And you've given up on Duck, on everyone. Stop it, goddammit. Fuck you, Lee. You're gonna listen. Or what? Punch him. Punch him. Give me the option to punch him. No, I'm not gonna punch him. I'm joking. Knock this shit off. So, you wanna fight then? Let's just talk. <laughs> you keep <man>. giving me <laughs> Whatever. You think you're the reason Duck was bitten? Like you had this coming or something? You didn't kill Herschel's son. Yes, I did. And now it's catching up to me. That's not what went down. You looked out for your kid, but a bad thing happened to someone else's. And I'm sorry I said otherwise. There ain't no way this world lets my son live when I help put someone else's in the ground. That's not the way it works. You know that. Stop the train, man. I mean, see, I, I could have easily, I could have, I could have, we could have fought. I could have punched him in the face. Could have did all of that, but that wasn't going to solve nothing. I know he was disrespectful, but his son is dying, so I gave him the benefit of the doubt. And Kenny has been real. I mean, yeah, he ain't got my back, but he ain't, you know, he don't, he ain't, he don't be lying, bro. Nothing he be saying. He be, he, he be speaking some real shit. But he's just in denial right now because his son is dying. Anybody would be acting that way. Ken, it's, I think it's time. The boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. That's tragic. Take as long as you need. There ain't no time left to take. It's your son, yeah it is, bro. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if, what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. 
What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cat. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Oh, fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. Gotcha. Fuck. I, I, I can't. Should I do it? I could do this. I don't really want to do it, but they... I love you, Ken, but this is beyond you. I'll do it. No, it should be a parent. No parent should have to do something like this. He's right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. I mean, Why I don't really don't want to do it, but forest. So no parent really should have to kill their son or yeah. daughter. Give us a moment, or child, to I say, say goodbye. Of course. Damn. That's tragic, man. Why does this game do that? What's happening? I gotta tell Clementine. Sheesh. Duck is dying. I know. What are you doing? I'm I don't I'm I'm gonna make, I'm sure, gonna he's make okay. sure he's okay. But how? He's bitten. By making sure he doesn't come back. Oh. Look, Clem, things are What the no! Ben, take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. Wait, what did, what did Kitty Yo know for? Why'd they go so deep in the woods? That's what I want to know. <gasps> no! Yes, yes, gotcha! No, she didn't! Why, cat? Honey. Oh, fucking God. <laughs> Kenny just lost his son and his wife. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God. I. I. No. Kenny was already on ten, on a, I mean, on ten, bro. And now he got, he just lost his wife, and now he has to kill his son. Kenny, you gotta do it, bro. I can't do what it. What do we do? You gotta do it, bro. You're his dad. You gotta do this. Just put an end to it, man. You gotta do it, Kenny. I know that's kind of the wrong time to say this, but I just don't want down the line you to be like, you killed my son. Like, nah, bro. We ain't about to have that. Because you seem like the type of person to do that. Kenny, you gotta do it, bro. That's your baby boy. It'll be okay. It'll be okay.
Wait, so we just gonna leave that other gun there? No, nobody gonna take the other gun? I know it wasn't out of bullets. Man, that's tragic. Tragic. The gun we could have used, we would have needed. Damn, we lost. Carly got. We lost Carly this episode. We lost Katja and Duck, and we also lost Lily. Damn. And there goes the sad music, man. This Ooh, music I'm almost be <laughs> making me want to shed a I'm thug tear. Chuck said. What Chuck say? That what happened to Duck would happen to me. The fuck he did. I swear. Sorry. Okay, we took some sense into it. Don't be mad. Hey, how you doing? I don't care what reasons you had for doing it. No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. Because she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? Do what's best for Clementine. Oh well, then you do have it all figured out. Never mind. Look, I press the wrong button. I meant we find a boat. Out. Find a map for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you, it won't. If it Damn, were, don't say that. You gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. She's a little girl. And she'll die a little girl if you treat her like one. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look at her hair. You got her running around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun, because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. I don't mean you got to a point. You do your job, but too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean, when we get <laughs> to Savannah. You got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there about whether or not you folks want company. I mean, obviously he was homeless, and all. he don't even know that Kennedy ended up shooting his son. Yeah, ended I'm up shooting his son out there. I suppose someone had to. Just what to keep the mess. conversation going. You said it. You know what? Just just because it's an option, I'm gonna ask him. You're homeless. I'm gonna say you're homeless. You're then. homeless then. Eh, I suppose. I've had homes here and there, and well, they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. Be safe up here. <laughs> you betcha. Hmm. Hey. Hey. It'll be good to get to the water. Still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. Yeah. It's the best plan. Because it's your plan? That's why it's the yeah. best plan? I wanted to talk to you about keeping my past from you all. 
You told us it was your parents' store back in Macon. That was enough personal information. I'm sure... Cat... will be, uh, okay with you. So forget it. Okay. Let's go teach Clementine how to use a gun. First, let's talk to Ben, though. Hey, Ben. Hey. Carly didn't have to die, you know. She would have killed me instead. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Aren't many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude, if he sticks around. We're all homeless. You know what I mean. There's not much use in describing people by who they were. Yeah, I guess not. See you. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there was hey, more ben. options. Hey. Was it to talk to him, right? Yeah. I'm asleep. It was definitely another option, but I guess not. Let's teach Clementine how to shoot. Actually, it's a bottle of alcohol. Who? Where'd that come from? Who? A bottle of whiskey? Is it Tennessee, honey? It's a fifth of whiskey. Who? Is the? Is it that Yak Daniels? Is that? What's this over here? They got that Yak Daniels. Not on this train much longer. That Tennessee, honey. Woo! Hey, Clint. Oh, actually, did you talk to him? I did. He had some. Uh, he explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you, but there are some precautions we have to take. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay, well, what should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and uh, tidy up a little so you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. What a crappy day. The crappiest. If three months ago I'd known what you'd be seeing, I don't know if I would have taken you with me. I probably would have run out of food. You're damn near starved with me. I'm glad I came with you. What do you think about Chuck? I don't know. Me neither. He might be an okay guy, though. You think? We'll keep an open mind about him. He's probably had it pretty rough. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? When you're ready to shoot, make sure you're not breathing too hard. And then hold your breath right when you pull the trigger. Like when I'm swimming? No, just for a quick second. I found that if I did that, I was a lot more accurate. It's tough, but it'll help. I can do that. Okay. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. <laughs> you okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yes. Yeah, you do. Okay, aim a little bit more to the left. Okay, a little higher. A little bit more to the left. Aim lower. A bit to the right. Steady now. Almost got it. 
Woo! I got it. Excellent. Good shot. I gotta cut her hair though. more to the left. Close. Now keep it steady. There you go. Nice. Go Clementine, go Clementine, go. Go Clementine, go Clementine, go. It's two for... Well, I can't say two for two because it went on the first try. But two for two because you hit the bottle. It counts. I did it! <laughs> yeah, you did. Good job. I was holding my breath and the gun didn't shake so much. See, you did good. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay, I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. Not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? <laughs> Are you saying it smells? No. Because it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. <sighs> okay. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. Do you know how to do this? Nope, no idea. Nope, no idea. I'm not much of a stylist, you know? I'm going to look like a boy. But think how much safer you'll be. I'd rather be dead. Shush now. So you did kill someone before? Yeah. I'm glad you finally told me. Me too. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. Killing is bad no matter what. But you do it now to protect yourself. And to protect me. Doesn't make it good. But you have to. I do it because it's necessary. Walkers aren't people. Okay. I think I'm about done. I can probably tie these pieces back with something. Here. I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There. All set. Does it look dumb? <laughs> no, you look cute. And a lot harder to grab. Let's go drink some whiskey. Found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? Hell yeah. Sure. Hmm. 
Ooh. Not known for its finish. Little kid. <clears throat> Anybody in there want to share a drink? You let them know. Will do. Yeah, let's see if Kenny want a drink, bro. I think Kenny could use a drink. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some? Yeah. Yeah, that'd help. That's that Tennessee whiskey. Why did I take the map? What was it? Let me go ask Ben. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, Ben. Hey. See you. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> it was me. Huh? What? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? Are you shh? What? It's all my fault. What for? Why the hell would you do this? They said they had my friend, that he was with them. By the time I realized they didn't, it was too late. They said they'd kill me. Kill all of us. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me, Ben? You nah, bro, we can't just end that off of that. Not much choice. choice. Unless you're going somewhere. I... I guess I'm not. What are you doing out here? I, uh, couldn't be back there anymore. I needed some air. Anything else? I was thinking about talking to Kenny. Oh, no. <laughs> I guess not. No, no, he will kill you, bro. I'm dead serious about you keeping your mistakes to yourself. I can tell. You get why, right? I guess. You better. What do you mean you guess? See you. Yeah. Bro. Like you gotta be kidding me. Why are they telling us to get a map to Clementine? Hey, Clint. Hi. I wanna talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're gonna do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay. Well, if they're not, what happened to them? I'm sure they're okay. Don't get your hopes up. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Okay, let's. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. And we've got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. A lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the... M... M... something... Mar. Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I... Tell my parents, you know. It's 
sure. Go ahead. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little chef. Thanks. I guess we should see how far... Oh, shit! Hold on, everybody! Whoa! Fuck, fuck, fuck! 